Hello problem solvers, welcome back once again. So yes, we're going to stick to the crime scene, right? Now how to put things together, all the clues you've just covered through inspection, right? If you think about the previous video. So today we're looking at how to solve polynomials. And as you know, polynomials has many things to consider. Stay tuned for more. Thomas, hope you're doing very, very, very well. Today we're continuing with algebraic expressions and working with polynomials. So this is a new term for you. So we're going to talk about what it is just now. So first of all, what is a polynomial? And this, is an, uh, this will help you to understand it that poly means many. There you see the word poly means many. Nomial means the amount of terms. Okay, so polynomial is an expression made up of the sum of difference of terms. Many. Okay, we've got specific uh, terms regarding um, polynomials and we call those monomials. Now, the word mono means one. And then we've got bi, like binomial. Okay, so remember all of these will be with nomial. Bi means two. Think of bi annually, meaning twice a year. Now, and you guys can already guess what the next one will be. Tri means three. Like a tricycle. How many wheels does a tricycle have? Three. How many wheels does a bicycle have? Three. So this should help you to remember uh, this whole idea of um, terms. Okay, so bicycle have two wheels, therefore a binomial has two terms. A trinomial, three terms. So this is how we talk about it. Remember, we're talking about uh, terminology and definitions first. Okay, how do we identify terms? Now, when we get to terms, you need to understand that you get like terms and then unique terms. Like term is a term that is of the same variable. Uh, as an example, like terms... would be, for instance, 3a and 7a. These are like terms. Okay? Unique terms would be if they're different. So the moment we talk about unique terms, then it's like 3a and 7b. They are unique. They're not the same. But I also want you to see that 3a squared is unique to 3a. 7b cubed is unique to 7b. And now then we get combinations like 3ab and 3a squared b. All of these are unique terms. All of them are unique. None of them are like terms. Okay, so that's the very first thing. The second thing we need to talk about is how do we know how many terms there are? Now, I'll write down a few examples. So, example 1. 3a minus 7b. So, you can see there's a minus. A minus and a plus separates terms. A multiplication and division does not separate terms. So, this we'll say is two terms. Okay, let's look at example two. Three A minus seven B times 27. Can you see that the seven B times 27 is just one term? So even though we wrote down more than one concept right there, or more than one number, this is still just two terms. Okay, then let's do example three. Example three, um, let's say 3a minus 7b bracket times 27. Okay, now you can see this bracket means multiplication with 27. So in this example, there's only one term. So remember, plus and minus separates terms. Multiply and divide does not separate 
terms. So this will help you to get started in identifying terms and how to work with terms. And again, remember that um, the following like 3a squared, 3a, 3ab, 3a squared b, all of these are unique terms. The moment you, when you think of terms, you want to think of um, a person's surname. Okay, so you can like a family of five, so there's five van der Merwes there as an example. All of them have different unique names, which in our case would be the coefficient, in other words, the number before the term. But all of them will have will be like this because their surname is the same, like the a squared b as an example. Um, so let's say, and I'll make this my very last example, and we'll move on. 3a plus 7a minus 4a. 3a plus 7a minus 4a is like 3 apples plus 7 apples is 10 apples minus 4 apples is 6. So you can see because they are like terms, we can add and subtract them with each other. Uh, the moment you multiply, it doesn't matter if it's like terms or not. You can multiply any term with any other term. Hope this helps. Stay tuned for more and see you soon.